have to travel. I don't want to miss like Asian foods anyway. So I just got off the train from Amsterdam Central. Just decided and I guess wandered into Chinatown. I didn't realize Chinatown was so close. And Chinatown, fun fact, is right beside the red light district. So I just got some dim sum. It's my day off. It's really, really pretty out. So yeah, now I just ordered myself. So. Singapore noodles, one of my favorites. Had some shumai and turnip. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a slow afternoon. Um, I can't check in into my hostel until three, so I have to wait a while. So I'm gonna wander around after I eat something. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I only landed late, also, but I landed at noon. So it's really been a journey up until now. I was gonna eat my food and then go explore the rest of Amsterdam Central. Amsterdam is really charming so far. I love seeing all the houseboats and there's so many canals with like canal tours and everything is pretty linked together. It's very walkable. I've been walking at least two hours around Amsterdam Central. A lot of bikes so mind where you're walking and yeah really really cute. A lot of like nice houses you can see behind me. It's a very like Dutch style and yeah I've been Passing by cafes and pubs that have this like cake that smells so good. So I think I'm gonna go try that because I tried to go to that cookie place and they only sell one cookie, but they had the biggest line I've ever seen. And I've already waited in line to do the Tony's custom chocolate bar, but the other line is too long. Like I don't wanna wait too long. So I might go back to my hostel, drop my bag, do my check-in and then come back out again. It's just an amazing fall day today. You got two bunks and two beds together. You can take this bunk. There's a locker that you can use. Pretty good. And we have a bathroom. That's actually pretty big. And here, everything you need. Really clean, actually. The mirror. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this hostel room. And the st train station, the bus stop is right there. This is the overview of Hostel Meninger. And yeah, so you got lockers down there. Bring your own locks, you got towels. Just on the water now, doing some kayaking in the canals of Amsterdam. Love the architecture from here. You can see right here. I'll show you the houses are very Dutch, very cute. Look how nice that is. And right now we're coming up on like mini windmills. It looks so cute. A lot of people have houseboats actually. So there's a few houseboats around. A lot of birds. I'm not into bird watching, but if you were in to bird watching and birds, there's like different ducks, there's herrings, um, swans, like really beautiful. Perfect time of day. Honestly, it was the best weather. I think this is actually better than summer weather. 
because summer weather gets a little hot. Right now I'm kind of sweating with this jacket and they were, they were nice enough to give me a hat because I don't have any sunglasses. But it's just a perfect day out here and yeah, I'm excited. I'm getting close now because I paddled from Amstel and I'm paddling into the center of the city. So I'm excited now to enter it and see, you know, Amsterdam Central, but from the water. But yeah, beautiful houses, like, it's just really nice. In the kayak, they give you one of these little tubs to put your valuables in. And I just brought a bottle of water. Taking a little break. The traffic is getting a little heavy. There's some boat tours behind me. Such an amazing journey so far. I passed by Anne Frank House, some monuments, some beautiful churches, and yeah. And I actually bumped into like a local who talked talk, told me about the birds and stuff in the area. So you can kayak from Amstel all the way to the Jordan area, and then you turn around. And there's a couple other routes you could do too, but this one's the main route. And it's so cool seeing the little bridges and the bikes and all the. The things I saw yesterday in central Amsterdam, but from the water standpoint. I highly recommend kayaking or taking boats out in October, September. It's honestly way better because summer can be really, really hot, especially when you're on a boat for so long. And yeah, it's just the most amazing weather right now. This morning, I'm going to do a cooking class. I'm gonna make some shrimp waffles, which is a nice Dutch treat. It's kind of like a waffle and a cookie merged into one. And I'm really excited to learn how to make these delicious Dutch treats. It's just an hour cooking class. And after that, I'm gonna head back to check out the museum uh, for artwork and history. And yeah, just have a cool day. Today is Sunday, so I'm gonna just enjoy the rest of the time I have here in Amsterdam.
I really loved my trip to Amsterdam. It was a really good solo trip destination. I stayed at a hostel for the first time, um, which was actually really good. And the hostel I stayed at was in an area called Amstel. It was actually very convenient right beside a bus tram and train station so if you have to go anywhere it is a good location to get to where you want to go and i went to the albert Coop market i think it's how you say it it's a famous market for its food vendors as well as just like little boutiques and shops it's quite a good size market as well but just know it is not open on sundays so i went on the saturday to make sure i could actually experience it picked up a few goodies from the market that day and it was a really beautiful like weekend super sunny the foliage was like really nice all, all the leaves turning orange and everything a lot of nice like different birds like swans herrings like it was quite a nice like scenery and you can see all the boat house like all the houseboats on the canals all the bikes of course so mind where you're walking there's a lot of bikes around and a few cars sometimes and yeah the tram system was really easy metro super easy to navigate most places have actually water points so if you bring yourself like a reusable bottle of water you can stay hydrated throughout the day tons of museums i went to body worlds as well as the national art and dutch museum called rigix museum Body Worlds I really recommend if you're really into sciencey stuff about anatomy. It was very interesting and very unique and it really made me think a lot about just like the functioning of our bodies and the happiness uh, themes around it. Whereas the art museum is just like a nice national like museum with all the arts and the history to learn more about the Dutch culture. So I'll show you guys what I got at the market first. I'm a big tea drinker so I picked up this um orange blend so it's actually a green tea with orange zest in it and everything is written in dutch but i could make out <laughs> a bit of what it said so on here it says like it's good for menstruation for um managing anxiety and that's pretty much what i got from this <laughs> um but yeah they had so many spices so many teas and this one just sounded nice and because i was staying at the hostel um there was like one coffee shop beside the hostel but i just more of a tea drinker so i just bought this and made a few cups of tea while i was staying at the hostel and it, yeah it's really good i really like this and this was just under three euros the next stand i found at the albert cope market was this artist she had a bunch of different posters and different cards with all her sketches on it a lot of themes with animals so i picked out two cards that i'm going to send to my family back home in canada the first one is this cute little monkey <laughs> a yellow one with like banana she had all different kinds of colors as well and yeah she all she sketches all of these prints and i also got a red one with two cats playing together. I thought that was so cute. But they had a lot of different varieties. So this was from one of the stands over there. Thought these were cute. I actually got some postcards too. Like what I've started doing is wherever I travel, I just get like a random postcard. So I, eventually I'll make like a scrapbook or like a photo album and also to send um, to a few friends back home and family. So I got just some, you know, average ones, like for a, maybe like 50, 50 cents each. So I have this one. This one was really nice because it reminded me of my kayak uh, scenery because I did do kayaking uh, for like two hours and on the Saturday morning, which was amazing way to see Amsterdam. Then they're also known for like their tulips, like, you know, windmills um, and stuff. So I got this one, it's quite pretty. And this one as well, that says Amsterdam on it. But yeah, so I got really at the market cards as well as my tea. Next place, I wanna show you guys what I got from Tony's Chocolate Factory. I got a Tony's Chocolonilles <laughs> little bits. Um, and this is uh, milk chocolate covered hazelnuts. So just a little easy package I can open up. 
And then the other bar that I got, just as the, you know, the normal things they have, is this one is a chocolate bar with um, just milk chocolate with wafer. I quite like Tony's chocolates. I first like tasted them here in the UK and I did not think, or I didn't really know they were from the Netherlands until, you know, you kind of re do more research. But yeah, so this one and this. And of course, I need to show you guys my custom chocolate, Tony's Unlimited. Here she is in all her glory. <laughs> I love purple, so you get to pick the like packagings and the writing. So I picked purple packaging and dark purple writing with blue accents. So if we open this up, so you get to pick what's inside the chocolate and then you order it through the iPads. I think I waited maybe 45 minutes to put in my order and then it was an hour and a half wait to go then pick it up. So it's a bit of a process, but when you open it up, the bar comes like this, like in two pieces. But you see, so I picked the purple with the blue writing. And what I ended up putting in here was darkened milk chocolate, pretzel, sea salt, and toffee bits. And at the back, you can write anything, like your name. So I put my little name there. <laughs> so it's so cute. So yeah, I'm excited to eat this and try my custom chocolate bar. But that's what it looks like. So this unlimited chocolate bar costs nine euros. But at the end of the day, like it's like kind of a fun thing. I'm a, definitely a foodie, so I don't mind spending money on this. The other good thing in, uh, you know, the Netherlands is basically cheese. They're really known for their cheese. So if you're able, if you're like traveling around Europe or just able at least to taste the cheese there, definitely do that. <laughs> There's a lot of cheese factories and it's super good. And of course the shrimp waffles as well. Yeah, so this was my custom bar. That's my little haul from Amsterdam. And yeah, overall really great trip. I really recommend it. And if you have any other questions about the trip or any advice that you need for solo traveling or just Amsterdam itself, let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. Hope to see you all in my next video. Bye for now.